now I'm going to show you how bloody hard it was and bloody annoying too. So this is, if you like, the troubleshooting version of Collagraph printings in our How to Collagraph series. A quick recap on Collagraph. Basically slam a whole heap of cardboard together, use a bit of glue, sandpaper, even ferns, anything you like, put it together and shellac the whole lot, print the whole thing as you would in Taglio, and of course it comes out perfect just like this. And if you believe that, you also believe in unicorns, fairies, and Noah really did get all those animals on the ark. And now it's time to come clean and tell you what really did happen. I do like to make these videos look like it's easy, but reality is excited and nah, it's crap. What's happened here is that it has bled. With Collagraph, if you got upraised bits, they trap ink and they just bleed. And this is what these sloshy bits are there. This print is no good. It is crud. All because of the bleeding. So one of the handy tips of Collagraph, don't have big upraised areas because it causes havoc with the print. But I try again. I flatten the print, I shellac it again, and I give it another go. And oh, all excited. Yes, could this be it? It could be it. Just, oh, no. It's absolutely crap again. Once again, it's bled. Look at that bloody bleed there. It's it's just that's just two good pieces of paper now, absolutely ruined. I can't afford this, it costs money. Ugh. I'm gonna print this this time, and this time it's gonna be bloody good. Right, you better be good, you little bastard. If you're not, I'm just gonna kick this press. No, I'm gonna kick the press, I have a toe. All right, let's have a look. Is it stuck? No, the tremble. It was using wet paper, sometimes paper sticks to paper. Alrighty, how's this? Is this a good one? Is it a good one? No, it's not. It's not. There's still failures there. There's, there's bits here where it's just not taking. See, now I haven't got enough ink on it. First there's too much ink, now there's not enough ink. This is driving me bloody nuts. So now I'm going to smear the ink on with a paintbrush, oozing out. I'm going to get on all those little areas, but get in with just a little bit of ink, not too much ink. Usually we use other stuff other than a paintbrush, but it seems to work good for this color graph. And here we go. And again. Well, how's it this time? Oh, you bastard. Bloody bastard. Dash thing. Now I'm in a fetal position crying because I can't get this right. But I decide that I'm going to just lighten the press a little bit. Now I'm going to get you, you bastard. I'm going to print this properly. You bastard. You better work this time or I will... I don't know what I'll do. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Get out of there, you little bugger. Right. Take all the backing paper off. This is all just to protect the blanket, by the way. Rip it off, and what have we got? We have got... Well, that's pretty damn close to perfect. That's it. That's it. And so, I'll cut all this other stuff out and make a video just showing that. People think it's so dash easy. With these other prints, I'll probably just touch them up, paint them up a little bit, and maybe make you know, a few unique prints, but I have got enough for a small edition. Well, as you can see, that wasn't that easy after all. Stay tuned next time when I do a screen print on a crocodile's backside. No, I don't.